What's going on guys? I'm Jada Black. Salute to everyone that's tuning in. Make sure you like this video and share it because I'm going to talk about what happens when you get thirsty for your co-workers and the Minnesota Timberwolves general manager, Gorsan Rosas, that's how you pronounce his name. He lost his job uh, today. Well, it was Wednesday, excuse me, Wednesday. After it was found out that he had an extramarital affair. As a matter of fact, the Timberwolves had the receipts of this guy basically cheating. Not only cheating, okay, but he had not done a very good job as the general manager of the Minnesota Timberwolves. And this just added extra on the fact that they probably were going to get rid of him anyway. If the team didn't turn around, they went 23 and 49, I believe. This previous season, 13th in the Western Conference, uh, they don't really have the best looking roster. All they have is Carl Anthony Towns. So he was probably going to be gone anyway, but this pretty much solidified it. Because this guy, not only did he get caught cheating and lost his job, but he was actually a married man cheating with another married, married uh, person. In his office by the name of Bree Bauer, who was Bree Bauer. Bree Bauer, let me make sure I get her title. She is vice president of communications and engagement. I believe she also works with the uh, Minnesota Lynx. And she left her job because she was the woman that was photographed hanging out with him at a soccer game and kissing this guy publicly. Now, in these type of situations, a couple, th there's one or two things that happens. Either he was just having fun on the side with this woman, or he's maybe about to leave his wife for her. Because how can you be this dumb to go to a soccer game with this woman that you are working with? You've been working with this woman since 2019. She was hired four months before he was. So in what? Two years. You're having an affair with this woman. You're going to soccer games with, you're kissing her. You're sitting with her and you're kissing her. You're married. She's married. And what's funny about her is that she's doing, she's uh, doing interviews talking about female empowerment, right? And, and empowering women in sports, right? She's supposed to be the face of, you know, women's sports in regards to Minnesota, but you are sleeping with a married man who has a whole wife at home. You didn't care about that. You just cared about being able to sleep with this married man who just lost his job and probably will never be an NBA general manager again. Now, let's get to this article from uh, Larry Brown Sports. It breaks a lot of the information. No, not this one. Excuse me. Uh, game 7. It's Game7.com. Uh, it breaks down the information. Uh Everything that's going on, let's get into it. It says, Bree Bauer's relationship with Timberwolves' Gorsan Rosas, I believe that's how you say his name, uh, comes under scrutiny. The Minnesota Timberwolves fired president of basketball operations, Gorsan Rosas, on Wednesday. Less than 24 hours later, troubling details emerged about the reason for his termination. One of the allegations was that has been made in the immediate aftermath is that Rosas engaged in an extramarital affair with another member of the Timberwolves organization. Romantic relationship was described as consensual by multiple reports. Although Rosas purported partner in the affair has yet to be formally revealed, online sleuths uh, seem to have stumbled upon one potential candidate. Bree Bauer, Vice President of uh, Communications and Engagement, is no longer listed on the Timberwolves website, reported Pierre of Fox 9 Minneapolis. You knew the detectives were going to come out. Did y'all really think they wasn't, the, the, the social media detectives weren't going to go looking? They know that the woman is a staffer. They did this to protect her. I want y'all to understand something. They did this to protect her. They didn't want her to look bad. That is why they with they they did not immediately put her name out there. But they knew that this woman was having an affair with this man. 
and I bet you they've known for quite some time. They've only been in Minnesota for two and a half, what was that, two years. Maybe, oh, let's see, 19, maybe about two years, two years. Both of them have been in Minnesota, and both of them got caught together, which means that Gorsan Rosas had been working her, or she's been working him, since they both got there. See, the thing is with these married couples is that they work long hours. They're around their co-workers a lot more than around their spouses. And things happen, which is why I'm not the biggest fan of marriage. I don't care what nobody says. When people like this work alongside each other, they both have power in the organization. He probably has a little bit more than hers. This stuff is going to happen. Not all the time, but especially with weak people, people who are looking for love that they're not getting at home. And the fact that these two, let me put them on screen again. These two got caught together, hanging out at a soccer game, kissing. They both looking for something they don't have at home. And it would not surprise me if both of them end up divorcing their spouses. Bauer was initially hired by the Timberwolves in 2019, roughly four months after Rosas. Well, excuse me. She was hired uh, before Rosas. So Rosas was already there. So let me go ahead and backtrack that. Uh, he was hired four months before she was. Bree Bauer named Timberwolves and Lynx Vice President of Communications and Engagement. The organization said in a statement at the time, in this position, Bauer will oversee the organization's communications group and manage the team's relationships with Fox Sports North, WCCO Radio, and the Wolves Radio Network. The statement has since been scrubbed from the web by the Wolves. Yeah, they, they've, they've completely disowned her. Uh, let's see, according to Jake Fisher of Bleacher Report, Rosa's alleged affair came to light after a recent soccer game. Ownership was made aware of Rosa's transaction, tra transaction, transgressions with the staffer when the team officials were provided with photographic evidence of their connection, he wrote. Man, they, they might have had somebody watching him. I, I have no doubt that somebody was watching him. It might have been somebody that, that Gorsan had trusted that provided the Timberwolves organization what they need. You got to understand when you're working for a billion dollar company and I consider the Timberwolves to be a billion dollar company. They're, they're an NBA team. They make hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, you're going to be watched very closely. You're going to be watched very closely. And I'm sure that they have people watching him very closely, especially the fact that Timberwolves have been going downhill. Uh, they have not really shown that they're going to be able to take that extra step yet. And uh, he's been in charge. And again, this gave them what they needed to get rid of him completely. It seems few, if any, in Minnesota and around the league had any had a general knowledge of Rosa's relationship until Wednesday when the news quickly spread throughout the organization and to rival team personnel like wildfire Rosas and the woman, each whom are married were seen kissing in a suite during a Minnesota United FC game last Saturday at Alliance field sources said, I wonder what his wife was doing and her husband was doing when they were hanging out Saturday, Saturday afternoon at a Minnesota United FC soccer game. That's why I think it wouldn't surprise me if both of them are headed for divorce. And you know what? This only amplifies the fact that, you know, you have women and men that love to say, well, I never cheated on my wife on the way out. A lot of these married people cheat on the way out. They, especially if they end up in relationships soon after their marriage ended, they're already dealing with other people. Now, if he had, if he was in the process of divorcing his wife, he should have told Minnesota that. If she's in the process of getting a divorce, she should have told Minnesota that too. So that when there's photographic evidence of you hooking up with each other, it can be provided and they can say, well, you know, it's not good for public relations, but we knew that they were divorcing their spouses. 
That's not what this was. They were being openly sneaky. It's almost like they wanted to get caught. The soccer club was told to reserve luxury seating for several Timberwolves players and personnel, including assistant coach Pablo. Uh, two seats were filled by Rosas and the staffer. Uh, those pictures have been obtained by Bleacher Report. One photograph is of a close-up shot clearly showing Rosas and the other woman sitting beside one another in a light blue cushioned seat uh, behind the suite's protective plexiglass. A second photograph follows where the two have leaned towards one another for a romantic embrace. And this is people. This is very public. Again, it's almost like they wanted to get caught Un again. These are supposed to be educated people. How do two educated people end up doing something this dumb unless it was done on purpose? That's the only thing that. You can say that maybe this was done on purpose. They cannot be that dumb. But when again, when you're when you're in heat, when you're in lust, you don't think right. And that's maybe what's going on with these two. They were not thinking clearly because both of them are in heat. We all know women can't think when they're in heat. When a woman is infatuated with a man, they lose their sense of common sense. It, was, it will be interesting to see if the fallout from the entire ordeal impacts the Timberwolves' ability to get Ben Simmons. I don't think Ben Simmons is going there. But, you know, I could be wrong. Roses was steadfast and refused to include one particular player in any negotiations with the 76ers. With him gone, uh, that can now be changed. And I wonder who he's talking about. But, um... This is how you end your career and your marriage, man. Get caught kissing a woman that you work with at a soccer game, man. So y'all let me say in the comment section below and uh, let me know your thoughts.